Hey guys, this is Tom with another audio post-production tutorial video. Today we're going to be working in Pro Tools and we're going to be using two sets of plugins. One stock Pro Tools Avid plugins and one set of Fab Filter plugins. Today's topic is de-essing. This idea comes from Bernardo Bento. He says, hey Thomas, awesome lesson. What I'd like to learn from you is de-essing a specific problematic dialogue. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Not always possible, and there's some prob problematic frequencies that I just simply cannot reduce without making the rest of the voice sound like crap. This is a, a great idea for a video. DSing can be very easily overused, especially when you're starting out. Um, and it's really something that can be overdone, not just with production dialogue or voiceover in a film or TV show, but also with vocals from a song. First, let's understand what sibilance is and why you'd want to control it. Sibilance is going to be high frequency noise, basically. It's, it's, it's S's, F's, sometimes TH's and H sounds that stick out and just poke your eardrum. Uh, and for me, like really bad sibilance actually causes my ears to hurt. And it's tr it's tough to control because you want the voices to sound crisp and clear and clean, but you don't want them to sound harsh. And just kind of one of the inherent things with a microphone picking up somebody's voice is it tends to accentuate the sibilance. And so therefore we need a de which is just a, it's a compressor that can be tuned to a certain frequency usually high frequency they'll sometimes you'll do a band pass but more often than not it's some kind of of uh, like a high shelf that will kick down when sibilance hits it now these voices i've picked three different voices for our examples because different voices have different levels of sibilance this is going to be a female voice that we're going to listen to but first before we do that just to show you what plugins i have on the tracks on the stock track i have an eq three, seven band. This comes with Pro Tools. And I have a high pass filter at 90 hertz with a 12 dB per octave slope. And then a low pass filter at 14K with a with the same slope, 12 dB per octave. I have these mirrors, or I have these settings mirrored on FabFilter Pro Q3. Exact same settings, 90 and 12, and then 14 and 12 uh, for that. So we're not going to do any EQ shaping. It's just kind of a, a standard starting point with a high and low pass filter. For the de -esser, we'll get to that in a second. First, let's listen to this example. Sally sells seashells down by the seashore. That's a female example. Here's a male example. Sally sells seashells down by the seashore. And a second male example with less sibilance in the voice. Sally sells seashells down by the seashore. Just to give you a visual of the sibilance, this is the same line on all three voices, but... Here's an S, here's an S, here's an S, here's an SH. So on the female voice, you can see the sibilance is loud, but it's not uh, really painfully loud. However, on the second example, look how big these sibilant pieces are. They're, they're bigger than the vowel sounds, and if you listen to it, it's really, really severe. Sally sells seashells down by the seashore. Yeah, it sounds crisp, but it also sounds like an ice pick inside my ear. So this one is going to take some extra care. And then the third example, the sibilance is already pretty low. Sally sells seashells down by the seashore. I think that one I may not need to touch. Uh, and that is why for DSing and for other dialogue processes like noise reduction and, some, and compression a lot of the times, I start with my plugins bypassed. You can see the EQ is light gray, meaning it's enabled and not bypassed and the de is in bypass because I only want to grab the de if I need the de -esser. So I want to usually take uh, the path of least resistance and least processing on things. I am going to show you how to do this with both stock and fab filter plugins. So we'll get started on the stock one right now. I, I have loop play enabled so we can hear what this de is going to do. And I'm going to put my track into touch mode. 
because you're going to want to automate your DSer based on how much DSing it needs. So to do that, we're going to go into preview mode. I'm going to bring up the plugin and we're going to start listening. Sally sells seashells down by the seashore. First thing I'm going to do is, is um, unbypass the plugin so it's active and running. Sally sells seashells down by the seashore. Sally sells seashells down by the seashore. I'm going to bring the frequency up just a tiny bit, maybe to 6K, and I'm going to bring the range down to 6. Sally sells seashells down by the seashore. That's good. And now, just so you can see what I'm doing here, I'm going to, to um, write those settings to my selection, which is uh, option, command, question mark. You can see the range has changed. The frequency has changed. So I'm going to go to the next clip now. Sally. I'm going to do the exact same thing. Sally sells seashells down by the seashore. Except I'm going to bring the frequency down because he's very sibilant. And I'm going to bring the range down to minus 12. Sally sells seashells down by the seashore. Sally sells seashells down by the seashore. Sally sells sea. And the same command, option, command, question mark, write automation parameters to selection. So to me, that sounds a lot better on him. Sally sells seashells down by the seashore. I don't think he needs any DSing, so I'm actually just going to bypass. Sally sells seashells. Oh, that's right. Bypass. That should. Oh, I need to take it out of preview mode. Duh. Door. Bam. Okay. He should be bypassed. Sally sells seashells down by the seashore. Yeah. So no DSing for him. Fairly heavy DSing for the first guy and moderate DSing for the female. Now the question is, how am I going to get those same settings on my fab filter tracks? Well, I'll probably speed this part up in the video, but I think what I'm going to do is just try to get it as close as possible by eyeballing it. I hope you guys enjoyed that warp speed time lapse. What I've done is just copied the settings from our stock Avid DSer to our Fancy Pants Fab Filter Pro DS. And now we're going to listen and see if it sounds any better. So here's the stock Pro Tools DSer. Sally sells seashells down by the seashore. Fab filter. Sally sells seashells down by the seashore. Stock. Sally sells seashells down by the seashore. Fab filter. Sally sells seashells down by the seashore. I'm on headphones. Uh, they're not great headphones. They're Sennheiser HD 280 Pros. But to me, it sounds pretty close, and I would say they're about equal. The second example, we'll start with the stock. Sally sells seashells down by the seashore. Fab filter. Sally sells seashells down by the seashore. Stock. Sally sells seashells down by the seashore. Fab filter. Sally sells seashells down by the seashore. To me, it sounds like the fab filter is uh, killing more killing more of the sibilance in the stock one is even with the settings where they are the same minus 12 minus 12 it's just not able to catch as much probably because of the look ahead um, or maybe the fact that there's a threshold in the fab filter one which is nice you can set where your threshold is for your sibilance uh, and then we don't need to listen to the third one because i'm not doing any dsing on him at all so in summation, this is how you would go about DSing a, a production recording or voiceover. You could even do this with a hip hop vocal or country vocal, whatever, podcast, any kind of vocal recording. There's some things you can do during the recording if you're recording the vocals or uh, voiceover to limit the sibilance, one of the best tricks is actually moving the mic off axis slightly. So in other words, have the person speak forward, but have the mic off about 45 degrees from where their breath would be coming out of their mouth. Still pointed at their mouth, but just off axis. You'll lose some of the sibilance doing that. But if you're working with recordings, you haven't uh, had any hand in, then you're just going to have to deal with the sibilance. I would say Try the stock DSer. It's it sounds pretty good. 
uh, I would say it sounds equal to Pro DS until you really have to push it, and that's where the Pro DS is maybe a little bit better. The Pro DS looks better. It's got more knobs to twist, which isn't always a good thing, but, you know, the stock DSer has worked on, I would say, probably thousands of film mixes, and it's totally fine. So learn the stock plugins first, and then if you feel like they're limiting you, then you can step into flavor and get some fab filter stuff. I hope this tutorial's helped you guys with learning how to control sibilance with a DSer in Pro Tools. If you have any ideas for videos you'd like to see, just comment below. And also let me know. I know there's other DSing tools. There's the uh, b -b -b SA2. I think I've got SA2. Actually, there's SA3 now. I like the SA2. Um, I don't use this as a DSer. I use it as kind of a dialogue decrisper. I'll put it on the bus and just have it just tickling like the harsher, you know, high high mid frequencies and then a little bit of the the like 2k ish uh or actually no i yeah i think this band is like 2k or something and then 4k i don't remember exactly but but i don't use this as a ds or i just use it as kind of a um a smusher at the end of my chain on my bus uh, but i wanted to show this with the stock pro tools plugin and then the common fab filter pro ds so i hope this is useful and i'll see you guys on the next video Take care.